Hi, Jim Brambick here. Welcome to my shop. Uh, I have you set up on the back side of my lathe, and today I'm taking some of the serrated bezel indexing tools and I'm knurling them. So instead of a plain tool, it'll have a fancy knurled handle. And it's aesthetically pleasing, I think, most of the time. And it also makes the tool easier to grip, gives you some friction surface to hold on to. So the chuck's all set up. It looks massive from your view, but it's really not that big. This is an old 1930, I think it's a 1938 LeBlond 10 inch lathe. There's only like 10 of these still functioning in the world. There's, I'm no lathologist, but, uh, but that's what I understand from people who are really into this stuff. Um, anyway, it's been, it's been refurbished. Tex is taken off of my chair there. Um, what we'll do is put the tool, the plain tool, in the chuck and tighten it down. And then I have a little um, sleeve that I made out of tool steel also. And that'll go on the other end to prevent the tool from being pushed away by the knurler. This is the knurler and uh, it just presses against the, the tool as the lathe is running and leaves a design, um, kind of a diamond shape. So I'll go in and touch off and then feed in about 20 thousandths and start traversing the tool. The serrating to the serrated bezel tool, and it's a slow process. Uh, there's nothing, nothing quick about doing this, but uh, I like, I like doing it. It's oddly gratifying to do this kind of work, and I need to get a little deeper on this end. It looks like, and then we are finished. Let's have a look. <clears throat> kind of pretty. Anyway, I have a few more to do and a lot that I have done and then it's off to heat treating and then to the post office again. So a lot of people were asking you know what's the difference between one or the other tool what is knurling so I thought I'd just make this little video and uh, it was kind of fun. Thanks a lot thanks for watching bye